sometimes when you're working in studio, you're kind of limited on how big your backdrop is. And Avoto has created a new way to really fix that issue. So I wanna show you how to use their AI distraction removal and make some bangers. It's the age old conundrum that you run into when you're working in the studio is you need to get far enough back to get the entire subject in, but sometimes you can't do that because you're limited to the size of your backdrop. Now, if you have a cyclorama or a big giant wall, you don't run into that problem. Even when I'm using like an eight foot by 13 foot backdrop, still sometimes you run into this. I wanna show you how to fix this with Evoto's new distraction removal tool. If you're new here, my name's Josh. I'm a professional photographer and photography coach. And my goal here is to help people like you become a more successful photographer or run a full-time photography business. So if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if this is the kind of stuff that you're into. So now let's go over into my computer. I'm gonna show you the photo and I'm gonna show you how easy and quickly this is. We're gonna do a little bit of a mixture of both here. So let's jump in right now. So this is Becky, she's a friend of mine. She owns a hair salon in the area and I had her come in and basically I took this photo with a 35 millimeter lens because I wanted to make sure that there was a bunch of junk going on around it. Now where she's standing, I could just crop her down and it would be no problem whatsoever, but I wanna show you what this really does. So like I said, we're gonna go in and we're gonna crop this down a little bit and then we're gonna do the removal tool. So let's go in, we're gonna crop it just a little. And basically what I wanna do is I wanna crop it down so the floor is pretty much gone because I did notice that it does have sometimes a little bit of a problem with flooring. So we're gonna go right about there. We'll see if it can handle the floor. We might still need to crop it a little bit more. But the way you're going to do it is you're going to go into this background tab right here, background adjustments, and we're going to just hit distractions removal. Now the auto probably is not going to do it, so I have to click the drop down, but let's give it a try. So as you see, the auto didn't do anything. So we're going to go ahead we're going to click this drop down here and we're going to go distractions. And just like that, all of that stuff that was in the top and the right side, it's all gone. Now, like I said, it did not touch the bottom here. So we could go ahead and try to fix that by just getting the healing tool, going down here, coloring across, and let's see if that fixes it. So it did, let's go one more time. And we're just gonna kind of keep going until we get rid of that. Let's zoom out just a little here. And there we go. So now that we've done that, we're gonna go in and we're actually gonna go over here back into this background adjustments, and we're gonna go clean up backdrop. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna just flatten everything out. Now look at this. Look how amazing it looks. We're going from a photo like this into a photo like this. Now here's what's cool about this is now I can go in and I can change the backdrop color however I want. So let me show you how to do it. This is a little trick that I came up with. It's not something that is really built into Evoto yet, but it's kind of a quick way around of changing the background color. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go back into the adjustments the color adjustments palette. Typically it would be into this full image, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna click local. We're gonna make sure we're on background. And now what I can do with this background is I can change this background to be any color I want. So we're gonna go here and we'll go and make it a little bit of a turquoise. And let's go all the way down and let's turn our vibrance up and our saturation up. Now, yes, it's all, it looks crazy and everything, but watch this. Let's go back to the background adjustments and boom. Everything has changed. The color is nice and clean. The background looks good. There's a little bit of wonkiness going on, on the right side, but that's because of me if I would have taken a little bit more time. But if you look at it, I mean, it has really went from this photo right here to this photo right here in a matter of minutes. These new adjustments that Evoto is bringing out is just it's changing the way that we work as photographers and the way that we can manipulate our photos in a positive way. We're using AI to help us with stuff instead of letting it kind of run our lives. I use AI all the time in my photos. I'm not afraid to admit it. It has helped my workflow seamlessly change. So now I know this was just a quick video and it wasn't really in depth, but it does really change the way that you can manipulate and you can work with your backgrounds and you don't need to make sure that you're just perfectly cropped in all the time. If you like this video, Check it out. I actually have an online school called the Photog Nation. It's a private learning club. What it is is you get access into it. There is a full catalog of videos as well as a bi-weekly live stream with me. 
There's a private Discord chat room server, and there is a long list of other perks that you get with my learning club. So if you want to check that out, go over to photognation.com and check it out. This video is kind of sponsored by that, but it's my company, so you know. But I would appreciate it if you checked it out. And once again, if you like this video, you know what to do. It's down there. Go ahead and do it. Or what you could also do is check this video out right now because I think this one will help you too. This one's a banger as well. I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.